Hello everybody! Today we are on Silver Ridge Peaks again, and I spotted a pretty high scoring level 4 mountain goat, and I think it might be diamond, but I haven't been able to kill a mountain goat yet, so I'm not sure what their diamond score is, but I do remember that it was over 105. Pretty sure it was around the 108 mark if I remember right. And this mountain goat looks like it'll be very close. Looks like it'll be very close to making the diamond score, so I figured we would go and try and get him. So there's a mountain lion over here that is kind of spooking them. I don't remember which side of the lake I saw him on. Oh, that actually might be him. That might be. Oh, actually, no, that's him right there. So I'm not sure if this guy's going to make it, but I feel like he's going to be really close, and he's by far the biggest one we've seen. So I figure we might as well get him down, see if he does score diamond. There he is. That is a big one for sure. That is a very nice looking mountain goat. He didn't land in the best spot. He's kind of pointed downhill a little bit, so I wasn't able to get a very good picture. But hopefully this guy is a diamond. 106.10. This guy was so close. This was so close. So we're probably going to need to find one that has a scoring estimate of at least max of 120. Because this was a 119 max. So if we get a 120 max, it should hit right on 107. Then it'll just be a matter of getting that 0.6. So a 121 would be for sure a diamond. Uh, a max of 120 would be a 50-50 shot. So that's good to know. Still a nice looking mountain goat. And definitely going to go in our lodge until we can find a better one. Is that a different variation? That might be a different variation. I think we got it. I think we got it. Uh, this should be his track. Okay, so it is just a common. That must have been the lighting that was making it look a little bit different. Hello there. So I saw a few people commenting about the fact that I used the 22 on the turkey in the diamond turkey video. So the next time I find a diamond, I will use the longbow. It just was not going to work uh, on that diamond because of the fact that they were at their zone and they weren't going to come to the collar. I didn't want to try and stock up on them in risk of potentially spooking them off because of the area they were in. There wasn't really any cover I could use, so I just decided to shoot it with the 22. But the next one I will take with the longbow, so if I find another diamond turkey, you can expect a longbow video. But here's this guy right here. It actually doesn't look like it was a different color, but it is a 4.5. That's a pretty big turkey. Just barely off of diamond. They really did a fantastic job on the turkeys. They look really good. Actually, I think we'll go ahead and tax this because I do need another male for the multi-mount. So I think we'll show the multi-mount at the end of this video. I do have a female tax already. It's just a regular one, so it's nothing special, but we'll put this guy, the female, and our diamond in the same multi-mount, and that should look pretty good. That right there is a level four bighorn. It's actually a decent looking one. It's not one of the massive ones because the curl isn't as crazy. But I figure we'll get him down because we haven't really looked at the bighorn yet. I believe I've only killed a couple on one of the live streams I did, but we haven't actually killed one in a video yet, so this will be the first one on the YouTube channel. Alright, here he is. Yeah, this one looks pretty good. I've seen quite a few people talking about how the mass is a little bit off when it comes to the base of the horns, but the smaller level 4s actually look okay. I think it's only the big ones that have those issues because every one of these larger 4s I've seen has had a decent amount of mass at the base. So I, it's got to only be the larger ones that have issues, which is kind of unfortunate considering the diamonds are what everybody wants. But that's a pretty nice looking big horn right there. I'm happy with the way the smaller 4s look. I'll have to get a larger 4 or a level 5 and see what they are like. But the small 4s at least look pretty good, so I'm happy with those. Wait a second, that looks like a pretty big elk. 
Oh my gosh, that's a five. <laughs> um. Okay, so we got to take that with the longbow for sure. I spawned in at this outpost right here, and I didn't see anything around it, so I started running towards this uh, lake that's down here. Uh, this little lake right here. But I guess he was too close to the lodge, so he hadn't spawned in yet. And then when I started running away, he finally spawned at his zone. That is... that is awesome. I've been trying to find one of these for a while. It was one of the top species that I wanted to get diamond once they announced this map. The Pronghorn and the Rocky Mountain Elk have been the two that I have wanted the most, and we've got a Rocky Mountain Elk in front of us right now. We still need to add the Pronghorn, though. He started eating, so that gives us a chance to kind of get up into this tree over here. Hopefully get him to come a little closer. If not, we might have to stock up on him, which is going to be a little difficult, but hopefully we can do it without spooking him. Okay, so he actually is interested in the call now, so we'll just kind of crawl over here. This one looks to be a pretty big one, so this should be a diamond, 100%. He is right there, super close. He might know we're here, though. Okay, he is coming in now. Look at that giant. We got him. That looked like a good shot. Yeah, it's vital blood. Let's go. He landed in such a perfect spot too. and That is a lot of pronghorn. Look at all those pronghorn. That is a ton of them. Jeez. Looks like there's a couple decent ones. Oh my gosh, that's a five. Where was this guy hiding? Oh my gosh, I could potentially have both the pronghorn and the elk in the same hunt. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we for sure have to kill this guy. I'm not going to bother getting him with the longbow just because he's already spooked so he's going to be a pain. And there's no calls for the pronghorn so we're just going to go ahead and take this guy with the 7mm. I am going to wait until I catch my breath, though, because I don't want to screw this shot up. I've been trying to find one of these for so long. There he is. And there he is down. Oh my gosh, we actually got a Rocky Mountain Elk Diamond and a Pronghorn Diamond. And they were almost right next to each other. I didn't even see the Pronghorn until I killed this guy. Look at the size of this Rocky Mountain Elk. They truly are giants. You can barely fit the rack in the frame. That's insane. Alright, let's claim this guy. 498.70. That is a big one. That is an absolute giant of a Rocky Mountain Elk. I'm so happy with this. You can't even fit the rack in the kill screen. But that's awesome. That looks really good. I like how these brow tines are larger than these. A little bit of asymmetrical antlers going on here. That is awesome. Now let's go get our pronghorn. I'm a little more excited about this pronghorn than I am the elk. There he is. He didn't land in the best spot, unfortunately. But we should be able to still get a picture of him. That's probably the best it's going to get, but let's uh, go ahead and claim this guy. It's a diamond, 100.30. It's just barely a diamond, but we finally got a diamond pronghorn. This is the one that's got the uh, tops of it a little bit close together. From what I've seen, there's at least three different level 5 racks, so this is the one of the smaller ones. There's one that's like this, but... Uh, they're a little more straight. They don't curl in quite as much. And then there's also one that I believe has small, smaller cutters, maybe. If I remember right, but that is pretty awesome. I'm super happy that we were able to get this. 
Uh, let's go check them out in the trophy lodge. I'm really interested in seeing how they look. So we're going to put the Rocky Mountain Elk right here. Oh, he actually scores 509. I forgot that the kill screen is bugged for Rocky Mountain Elk right now. He's actually a lot bigger than what I originally thought he was. But that's pretty awesome. I'm kind of glad because now he's an absolute giant. He was big before, but now he's one of the higher scoring ones. So we'll put him like that. Then I think what I'll do is I'll move our Blacktail. And we'll put the Pronghorn there. That looks really good. I like that pose for them. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to put the black tail that I just took down, but I'll find a place for it later. So I almost forgot to show you guys this, and I did promise that I would show it, so there is the turkey multi-mount. There's quite a few nice poses for them. Uh, I think this is probably one of the coolest looking ones, though. Actually, that angle looks better. We'll probably leave it at this. I think this looks really good. We've got our diamond on the top, and then the 4.5 right there, along with this random female. I think that looks pretty good. I really like it. So, uh, I had actually already ended the recording for this video, so that's why we're in a different room, but I've remembered that I had promised to show you guys this, so here it is. Uh, let's get back to the ending of the video. <laughs> But I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm so happy that we were able to knock off both of the species that have been trying to get diamond. It's crazy that we were able to get it within five minutes of each other. It's just amazing. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't liked the video already, be sure to hit that like button because it helps me out a ton. Peace, my dudes. Hope you all have a fantastic day.